take you on a journey with the Korean dunker to show you the intense training routine of a dunk champion as he prepares for the Summer Jam contest. He got introduced to dunking in high school back in Korea. Since then, he's been obsessed with the idea of jumping and gripping the rim to a point where he was doing 2,000 calf raise repetitions every single day. The hard work and dedication paid off as he's one of the most respected dunkers in Asia and Australia. But to become a champion, you have to face the highs and lows in life. Let's go, Rush! Only 48 hours away from Melbourne's Summer Jam Dunk Contest, we find ourselves at the basketball court. This is where the Korean dunker is mastering his main dunk for the up and coming competition. Have you got life insurance, bro? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys reckon? He's gonna do it? Yeah! <laughs> Jumping over someone is one of the hardest dunks to achieve. He first started practicing this on a lowered basketball hoop seven years ago until his vertical jump increased and he could achieve it on the standard 10 foot ring. What do you think, Lua? Is he going to do it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Uh... I've been following the Korean dunker's journey for a few years. What impresses me the most is his work ethic and dedication. Before a competition, he hits the gym, working on muscles that help him move fast, jump higher, and be stronger. High intensity is the key. His commitment and dedication to training for the competition gives you a good indication that he lives and breathes for dunking. However, I could sense his excitement and nerves as the time got closer to the big day. Leading up to the competition, the Korean dunker had surgery on his finger and caught COVID just a few weeks prior, which left him little time to practice. One thing I loved was his secret weapon. It's a Korean medicine drink that substitutes caffeine, giving him the energy boost he needs for dunking. Summer Jam is the biggest streetball tournament in Australia, attracting thousands of people over three days. We're going to pay respect to the champions that have been here before. The dunk competition brought the largest crowd of the event. This was the fourth time the Korean dunker had entered. Oh, Will James wanted to. I know why he's not in here. He decided to be a model.
His first dunk got the perfect score, but in the second round, the Korean dunker had three failed attempts, so due to the contest rules, this means that he couldn't advance to the next stage. Being a crowd favourite, he finished off by giving the people a 360 pump dunk. Two weeks later, he was back in the gym to prepare for the Ego Expo competition. I could sense how hungry he was to make his comeback and succeed after his loss at Summer Gym. We are down to the final round. It's Archie Padley versus the Korean dunker. Whoever gets the best dunk here will be the winner of the Ego Expo dunk contest. Alright, so I'm here with Korean Dunker, he's just won the dunk comp here at the Ego Expo. How you feeling? Oh, so man, finally I won it, the dunk contest, this time. Um, yeah, I was missed, I had a mistake in the summer jam, but I have made it today, so I'm so happy right now. <laughs> and uh, next one, Oh, another, another dunk contest coming soon, so I'm gonna prepare another dunk contest soon. So I gotta get in shape again, and then trying to be careful from injury, you know. So, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm not a saint.